Hi, this is Margaret O'Brien from dataminingdna.com. This is a video walkthrough of running a script by Earl Hakes to preserve your low matches. I'm going to run it using Chrome. So the first thing to do is get the script. You want to copy and paste it into Notepad or Notepad++. Don't use Word because Word can do strange things with quotation marks and it just may end up with the script not running. Now you want to change one line in this script and that is the line at the very bottom. This distant relatives, this is the name of the group being used by Earl Hakes. You need to replace this name if you haven't called it distant relatives. You need to replace it with whatever name of the group that you have set up to preserve your low matches. In my case, I'm using this group here, preserve low matches, and I think case matters, so just type it in exactly as how you have named it. To keep it within the quotation mark, just be very careful that you don't remove this quotation mark. Be very careful that you don't have extra lines if you've copied this in from Facebook, or that you don't remove any lines. If you get any kind of syntax error, it is probably because you've missed a line when copying it from this is the very start. This line is the start. This line is the end. As long as you see those in your script you're probably and nothing else, you're probably okay. So preserve low matches for me, whatever the name of your group is. And as I said, just be careful that you don't mistakenly remove a quotation mark. So the name of your group within the quotation marks. Okay, once you've made that change, you now want to open the control panel because we're going to copy and paste this script into it to run it. You can use the function key fn function key 12. So depending on the laptop you may just be able to click on the F12 key but sometimes if that has a little airline symbol on it, an airplane symbol, you may need to hold down separately a function key marked fn and click on the F12. Alternatively in Chrome um, you can just right click anywhere in the browser and just choose this inspect. So the control panel opens and you will probably land on the wrong tab. You see the tabs up here, the first one is called elements, this is where you're on, this is not what you want, you want the tab called console. So just click on the console tab, this entire box here may open down the bottom of your screen, doesn't matter. How it, how it opens, just click on console. You can ignore all this, just focus on the bottom window here. See where the chevron and the blinking, uh, blinking line is? This is telling you that this box, which is the input box, is waiting for input. And what's the input going to be? It's going to be the script that you have just amended. So I'm toggling back to that script in Notepad. I've changed this single line here. I'm going to select the entire script, Control A, I'm going to copy it, Control C, toggle back to my console window, click into the input box beside the chevron and Control V to paste the script. Now you've just pasted it here, you haven't run it. In order to run, click the enter key and there we go. So this script is actually outputting each match one by one, so you can get a feel for the throughput, or how long it takes to do 10 or 20 matches, and just uh, just let it continue. Oh, okay. So that stopped. Uncaught error, but it is now continuing. It's thrown another uncaught error. I'll just wait and see what happens. I'm not clicking any input, and I'm not hitting enter, just waiting to see, and it has started again. Okay, it just started again without me making any kind of input. So I, I just go and have a cup of coffee or go for dinner. <laughs> Depending on how many matches uh, you've got to go with, just let it go through. It does seem to pause every now and then with some kind of error message here, but it restarts itself. I just, I don't know if it's going to skip some matches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this run through and I'll verify it when it's done. Okay, folks, I'm back after, I think it was about an hour and a half for, for me, for my number of matches. And see down the bottom here, this message 
this last message's output says dumb. You may also notice, if you scroll your eye up a little bit, that some of the matches it says already added. It's here, already added SB. I had actually added some of these seven centimorgans to the group, so that doesn't surprise me. What I want to check now is whether, in, in theory now, if this script ran completely, there shouldn't be any that are still to be added. And the way to check that, I think, is to run the script again. I'm just going to close out the console. I'll refresh my screen. Ah, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so I was getting slightly worried there, but that's okay. These are now I'm seeing the the pink icon, which is the, my particular group. What I am going to do is I'm going to run the script again and see if it picks up new matches. Close down Chrome entirely, and I'll open Chrome again. So this is a new instance of Chrome. Right click, I'm going to run the script again, go to the console, I've landed on the elements, go to the console, control A, control C, control V, click enter, it all seems to be already added, I'm just watching it by eye, it's got to done and I didn't see it have to add a single match into the group, so on that basis, I'm satisfied that it worked. Okay, so if you have got here from the Facebook group, I think you probably know the background, but if you don't know the full details of this, I'll put a link in the description below to the blog. There's a sticky at the top left, which is an article on the background of what Ancestry have decided to do and some of the approaches that you can take to mitigate it. And just in general, if you're looking for some additional tutorials and articles that are at the moment primarily around Ancestry, you'll find some posts and various articles on through lines, on hints, on backing up your tree on this particular blog.